That's right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm so narcissistic, I made an iceberg about my own channel. You know, I've been seeing a lot of these iceberg videos pop up in my recommended on YouTube, and honestly, I like them a lot. They started off as like a huge trend, and then they just stayed. And for good reason. They're really good for learning more about obscure information about your favorite topic, like a video game or a movie or a genre or whatever. But one thing that's always surprised me is that I've never seen a YouTuber make an iceberg about themselves. And honestly, I think it's kind of weird that it hasn't happened yet. It's the perfect platform to share really obscure information about yourself to your viewers without anybody asking who cares. So screw it. Here's an iceberg about me. Alright, let's get into it. Discord mods. This is one of the most popular videos that I've ever created and probably ever will create. Most of my subscribers originally came from this video. So for those of you who stuck around, thanks a ton, man. Other popular videos. These are other videos on my channel that also got pretty popular. Like the oversimplified logo video, which as of recording this video has about 2.5 million views. Face reveal. I've shown my face on a couple of videos on this channel, including one that has about 500,000 views. Frequent commenters. These are people that comment on a lot of my videos. If you click on one of my videos at random, then chances are you'll probably see one of these people in the comments section. This includes Onet Kid, I'm a Samurai, you Nimrod, etc. Longer videos. I usually post short videos on this channel, but every once in a while I'll post a long video like this. These usually take a pretty long time to edit. For example, the Nikocado Avocado YouTube poop took me about a week to make. S tier videos. This is a playlist on my channel that contains a lot of memes and short videos that I found funny or interesting. As of recording this video, there's well over 700 videos, so if you have a lot of time to kill, go right ahead. Alright, so this is the part of the iceberg where things got real, alright? Like, everything up to this point was just the beginning, okay? So, just prepare yourselves. Unlisted or deleted content. Like any YouTube channel, there are many videos that have been unlisted or deleted off of my channel. One of those videos is a meme about Eggman's announcement, which got about 40,000 views before I unlisted it. There was also one called, I'm unlisting this video in 24 hours, which is pretty self-explanatory. There's probably a bunch of other videos I'm forgetting, so if there's any video that you remember being uploaded and then deleted, then let me know. TikTok account. Yep, that's right, I have a TikTok account. Are any of the videos good? Nope, but should you follow it? Heck yeah! Previous names before Beat Rice. Before I settled on the name Beat Rice, I went through a bunch of name changes. One of those names was... <sighs> Listen, I'm a man in admitting this, but one of the names that I chose before Beat Rice was... Da Hooligan. Yeah, yeah. I don't I don't know why I don't know why I thought it was a good name either. I don't know. I don't know. Another one of the names that I chose before Beat Rice was the real deal, which is like a little less bad than the hooligan, but it's uh I really thought I was gonna hit the big time with that name. Oh fun fact, when I had the name The Real Deal set as my channel name, a YouTuber named Shape Frills Productions was doing a live stream and he answered one of my questions. I think it's really cool that he answered my question, but it just makes me mad because he could have said my name. I could have had footage of Shape Frills Productions saying Beat Rice, and yet I passed up the opportunity for the real D. Why is your name Beat Rice? Oh, that's actually a pretty easy question. I'm not really sure why I haven't answered it yet, but I think this is a good enough time as any. You see, the reason why my name is Beat Rice is because... And there you have it. That's why my name is Beat Rice. Scrapped Food Fight Review. Back when I first started making YouTube videos, I always had an interest in those movie review channels like JonTron. And I always wanted to make a movie review of my own. So one of the first movies that I decided to make a review about was Food Fight. Which was a movie infamous for its generic story and bad animation. I tried finding the original project in my files, but unfortunately I wasn't able to find it. Live action sketches. Another genre of video that I made before I made memes was live action comedy sketches. I made these sketches about two or three years ago, and it's really weird looking back at them now. I'm gonna show one of these to you right now, but I warn you, it's pretty... 
Okay, there's no sugarcoating it. It was pretty bad. Hey guys, welcome to Totally Legit Crafts. Today, we're gonna teach you how to cure cancer in just five easy steps. Now, I know what you're thinking. Well, isn't curing cancer impossible? Yes. But after watching this video, you'll legit know how to cure cancer, baby. All right, you ready, guys? I hope you're ready, because you're gonna learn how to cure cancer in three, two, one, go! All right, boys, so this is how you cure cancer. Uh, the first thing you're gonna want to do is that you're gonna have to slap down this Marmaduke DVD I just found, okay? Okay, that, that's that's step that's step number one. Uh, the second thing you're gonna want to do is get some uh, some uh, some good old club soda, okay? Some good old club soda. Ah, uh, there, that's that's the club soda. Now next, you're 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 gonna want this pillow, and then you're gonna slap it down right there, okay? Then what you the fourth step, you gotta step on it a little bit. You gotta gotta mash around the ingredients a little bit. See, cancer cancer isn't without its uh yeah, you know, without its risks and challenges, you know what I mean? And the last thing you're gonna wanna do is add a little bit of love. <laughs> and that's how you cure cancer. Alright, now you legit know how to cure cancer. Make sure you hit like and subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you never miss a legit upload. Also remember to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Tumblr, Google Plus, MySpace, and there's a social media platform, we probably have an account on it. Alright, peace out. FBI, open up! Alright, this one's a doozy, so I saved it for last. The Beat Rice is a failed government experiment theory goes as follows. Beat Rice was allegedly the name of a toy created by Ronald Reagan that was made out of tape, pencils, and various kitchen items made out of metal, like pots, pans, and spatulas. When Reagan stepped out of office in 1989, he apparently gave the toy to a recently elected George Herbert Walker Bush, who was allegedly told by Ronald Reagan, Keep it safe, Bush. I know you'll do great things with this. Bush presumed Reagan to be insane and kept the toy in a vault in the White House. Recently re-elected President George Walker Bush, the second one, not the first, was running around the White House when he opened up the vault where the toy was sitting, collecting dust. Excited, Bush took the toy and allegedly went into the Oval Office where he began to fix up the toy and gave it new features. The House of Representatives discovered Bush's toy and recognized that it originally belonged to Ronald Reagan, and a large debate was started arguing whether or not the toy should be kept or thrown away. However, during that debate, Bush allegedly pushed a button on the side of the toy he hadn't previously discovered, and there was a large earthquake in the White House that lasted about six seconds. After this, Bush allegedly said, let's hope nothing bad comes out of that. About a day later, on August 23, Hurricane Katrina formed to claim the lives of over 1,800 people and caused $125 billion in damage. It was decided that the beet rice toy was to be thrown away, but Bush wept on his knees for them not to throw it out. They decided to comply with Bush's wishes, and they decided to convert beet rice to a digital medium, and the beet rice channel was born. Bush was told to upload the channel, but he forgot to. However, while Obama was in office in 2016, he saw a tab on his computer that hadn't been opened in seemingly years, and he decided to upload the channel onto YouTube. And thus, Beat Rice was officially created. That's how the theory goes anyways. There is a bit of doubt surrounding the theory, but many people take it as fact. Personally, I think it's a bit of a stretch, but what do you guys think? Well, that's the end of the iceberg. If you managed to sit through the entire thing, then thank you very much. And hey, maybe you guys learned a thing or two about my channel. Anyways, have a good one, everybody.